Okay, so it's been a while since I went into this channel, like, to see. And apparently I just jumped by, like, I think... I jumped by, like, six, seven subscribers, so thank you guys for subscribing. Um, and I just went to check, and, like, I had a few videos planned because I haven't done any video here in, like, so long, okay, my bad. But then that one that I told you guys like how to score well in like PSLE, it's like 300 overviews so apparently I guess people don't do that a lot. So basically, um, okay there is like makeup in between my fingernails, okay never mind, that's my problem. <laughs> okay so, I'm kind of blind because I'm not wearing my specs, I kind of had to put makeup on because my face was a mess due to the stress of like exams, I just finished mine today. Um, yeah, it was terrible and I feel like the school tried to kill us so but anyways guys um welcome to another video welcome back to my channel I don't know how to start my videos oh my god <laughs> um hey guys welcome back to my channel and okay yeah that that's gonna be my sort of intro from now on I have a rubber in my hand I'm gonna throw it down okay um I'm back against this wall as always um if you watch my other videos on my other channel, you probably understand what I'm saying. Um, but I have my book here that I write everything down on. And basically, you know how I said like um, last video, um, not last video, two videos ago that I did about the PSI thing. So I had a few videos planned and right now, um, basically, there is one that I think I should do. So. It's about choosing a secondary school, if you guys can see from the title of this video. Um, yeah, I only have a few things here which actually I went through to consider what school to get into. I'm still not gonna review my school. Unless someone randomly just types it down below for no reason. I don't even know why they do that, but okay. So, I got another Snapchat from my cousin and um, someone. Okay, so basically... I'm sorry, I was Snapchatting, my bad. Okay, um... Now that I have the time to make videos, I can make some because I had like literally one whole week of like exams and in the previous week there was like Monday and Tuesday which I had exams too which was really really annoying. I think I filled my matang but okay, let's leave that alone because I'm terrible at matang. Yeah, just just um a warning to you guys if you take high matang, it's gonna be kind of very very complicated and it gets a lot worse than primary school. Like, not even close. So anyways, um, choosing your secondary school, this is what I went through when I was choosing what school I wanted to go to. So um, it was a long process that I actually stayed up until like 1am talking to my mom with. So I have my notes here and I'm just going to sort of like get it off from here and there are kids at the playground again I think. Or someone laughing like a mad person and my TV is playing outside with no one watching it, my bad. Okay, um, yeah. I'm the only one home right now other than my mate, so obviously. And my sister's like in Hong Kong enjoying herself, but whatever. Okay, so first things first is um I have quite a few people that I know that um they DSA into um their school, which is I think it's over already. Yeah, it's over already, but um, if you guys are watching this, obviously you did not DSA. If you DSA, that's good for you. But one thing that like you guys should really consider is your results. So for me, I'm not gonna lie. I got above two hundred. I'm still gonna build my school. Um, yeah, and basically, what I did was there's always this thick ass book that they give you. To like look through all the schools and then their cut off points from the previous years and stuff. So, um, what I did was I went through it and I picked out a few schools that I wanted to go. And so, top my top six choices and what I did was I based it off what I wanted, what my expectations of my results would be. Not really, but like. You know the bell curve thing, it just changes your results all the time. So, um, I'm not gonna boast here, I'm just saying this before. Um, what I thought I would get was a 2-3 something, 2-2 something. Um, 
because I really thought I messed up really badly in my papers. But turns out, I don't know, somehow like a lot of people did really well, I think, yeah. And basically, um, what I got was 255 and I took high matang for two years even though I was not really good at it. I managed to grasp a um, merit for that. So I got 257 and I worked really hard, just so you know, I'm not boasting here, I literally cried while studying for PSLE. Yeah, it was a painful time of my life, but right now it still is. So, basically, um, your results, right? It's better if you get, um, if after you get your results back, you obviously have to choose your schools. So, go back to the book and look at the cutoff points, bef um, the cutoff points, and basically what I did was, um, kind of looked through and found certain schools, like all the few schools that I chose, I managed to find um, most of my schools are actually, the, my, their cutoff point is lower than my aggregate, which is really good because that means you have a higher chance of getting in. And I'm just gonna say this first because I really realized this after I joined the school, that even though your aggregate is a lot higher, there are a lot of subjects that you just say add on in secondary school and it's gonna be a struggle learning them. So if you guys want tips, comment down below, like the video, subscribe to me, yeah self-promoting, this is great. <laughs> yes. So anyways, um yeah, choose a school that's like the cutoff point is lower than your aggregate after that when you look through your schools if um, it's sort of like just cross the border I would not really recommend that because sometimes like there are a lot of people that with higher aggregate scores than you um, not saying that you're terrible but um, true fact is some people they with higher aggregate scores they want to go into that school they can enter it very easily because the higher aggregate the more easily the school will take you in if like your cutoff point like if maybe the cutoff points are like 200 and you have someone that scores like 215 versus someone that got I can't speak now versus someone that scored like two just 200 or 201 to 202 203 something like that the person with 215 aggregate obviously will get in much easier because the school will want someone like that um, I guess school reputation matters to people and yeah and then there's like um a certain school that you have to aim for that like maybe like um okay this might be a bit too late but when you study for PSLE you must like sort of aim for a certain school that you want to get into I guess you could say that um that is what I did. I actually wanted to go to San Nicolas Girls School, but um, after that it was like my sixth choice because it was too far away. I mean, like, I live in the northeast. That school's like I don't know in Angmukyo somewhere that I went before. Um, yeah, and my mom sort of murdered me because it was like a ha an hour and a half away from my house by public transport. Not good. Anyways, second point: your dream school. Um, wait, what am I writing here? Oh, your dream school. Um, I have no idea what I'm writing there, but yeah. If, um, you aim for like this certain school somehow you manage to, um, pass the cutoff point, it's your probability to, um, get in is higher. So it's like aiming for that certain school. I don't know why I repeated this point. Um, yeah. And the third thing you have to consider is the distance. Like I said before, my first choice, actually my dream school was actually St. Nicholas Girls School, but then turns out it was a Chinese school, not really fun for me. But um, anyways, um, I actually um, went through and Google search. Why, can I, why do I keep saying um in this video? I Google search like um, from my... I cannot stop saying um in this video. Why can I not stop? Uh, so I Google searched what... I had uh, like how far it was from my house like taking a bus taking a train things like that and turns out it was really really far away so my current school now is not 
an hour and a half or something away. Um, it's about 45 minutes to an hour, an hour if it's really crowded like on the bus and stuff. And if I stay back in school, like really, walk really slowly out. Yeah, it's in the middle of the neighborhood, not fun. You have to walk like 5-10 minutes out. Um, so, anyways, it's sort of a thing that I did. So, distance really matters because sometimes like me, you're taking school bus, but you somehow accidentally overslept, you missed the school bus. How are you going to rush to school in time when your parents don't fetch you? Like my parents, yeah. So... What I do is I would quickly rush to uh, rush. So if I get to the LRT station near my house by 6.30 in the morning because my bus comes actually like around like 6.20, um, I, will be, I will manage to get to school around 7.10, 7.05, 7 and that's about 15 to 25 minutes before I'm late for school. So it's great that my school's not that far away. Um, but yeah, and then um, you have to think about how convenient it is, like uh, my decision, I regretted it because i never been to my current school for open house. I just chose it and just checked the distance, so it was, I, it was along the purple line, which I kind of stay along, I'm not going to tell you where, and um, yeah, there was a nearest um, stop near my school there, yeah. Try not to review my school, but it's kind of hard when I have to explain. It was really, I thought it was really convenient. Turns out I had to walk in a far distance, and I only realized that after I got in to the school. So I would suggest you guys maybe when you go for your um, posting posting day, I don't, I forgot what it's called really, but um, the day that you get you go into the school that you want to go to. Um, familiarize yourself with it. If not, um, head to the open house. I think they'll have another one soon because it's after PSLE, I think they'll have another one soon. Somewhere in November, I think. Yeah, and basically, just familiarize, like, see how far you, how convenient it is. Maybe, like, take public transport. It's best if you could. If not, you can take a car and drive along the route that you have to walk. That would be the best because you can see an approximate distance of how far it is away from your house or the nearest bus stop or something. If the bus stops were outside, great. Not like mine. Um, yeah, it's really just really really into a neighborhood. I cannot. Another thing I did was um, I discussed with my parents. So my mom was in my room at like 12 a.m. in the morning, talking to me and like we were like looking through schools and stuff, and basically. My mom just supported me for whatever I wanted to do. She gave me the choice. And I feel like if you're a parent watching this, you should let your child have the choice and sort of guide them. Like, yeah, let your parents guide you to like a better school sort of thing. So, yeah. And my mom basically just gave me all her support in choosing school. She didn't really interfere. She just talked to me about like, distance which is, I mentioned just now because we were searching up like all the possible ways to get to the school and how far it would how long and far it was so that's how I got to my school now is um I'm gonna say I'm in a good school okay I feel like all schools are good just some places they're really some guys who are rough and there's some really, really, not really so nice people sometimes. But, um, if you're a parent watching this or you want to show this to your parents, um, I feel like parents should really support their children's choices and just like guide them to choosing their schools because I know parents you have went through this before. My mom went through it. I was talking to her for like an hour. Like we stayed up for like 11.30 all the way to like 1am before I finally chose my schools and I sent it off and I got my first choice school and it was really fun except I got lost on the first day I didn't know how to go home I didn't know how to go home it was really sad but yeah basically that is all I'm gonna talk about today I'm gonna film not, I'm gonna film another video right now so I'll like post maybe like one this week and then another one next week but I'll be wearing the same thing so don't judge me please but basically that's really all that I really did. Like, 
basically, I feel like parents are the most important. That's the okay. I need to stop cracking my fingers like that. Um, parents are the most important thing. Like they should just really support. My mom just really supported me. My dad like had nothing to do with this. Okay, don't ask me why my dad has nothing to do with this. My mom, she supported me, just guided me into like looking the correct school, correct order of like the six choices of schools I wanted. It's fine if you didn't get into the school you wanted or any other six schools, I guess because there's too many people going for that school. That's why I said um, just now, you should really find a school which your aggregate, uh, aggregate score is a bit higher of that cutoff point which means the more probability of you getting in and so you won't be they won't have to locate you themselves so six choices is if you aim for like something like I got two five seven like my higher ma tongue score was considered in it and I the school I went to cutoff point was two five zero I had Accept, they accepted me immediately. Um, I got that was my first choice school, and I got in really quickly. So, yeah, that's what I meant. It's really easier. The probability of you getting in is a lot higher, and that's all. Also, the distance is really important. Just think about like if you cannot rush to school. I am say like my friend. She literally lives like five minutes away from her school. Yeah. Um, so basically, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you guys for that 8 subscribers. I'm gonna set up my YouTube profile a lot more, like faster, I guess. Thank you guys for the 300 overviews. <laughs> I'm really shocked that people actually watched that. I'm really sorry it was really bad because I was really really tired and like off in that video. I can tell because I was the one talking. Um, after I edited it, it was like really 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 weird, so... Hi, this is the true me. If you don't know my name, my name is Valerie, okay? If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and comment down below if you want me to talk about my secondary school life, which I guess has a lot of drama that I really don't know how to deal with as of right now because I'm currently like still dealing with it. Really really sad, but okay. Um, ignore my face, it was a mess. And I had to put makeup on. Yes, I'm allowed to put makeup on. You get that when you reach secondary school, I keep, I think. Yeah. And if you want more red, and if you want more weird random videos that I do, I'm gonna link my other channel down below, and you guys can go there and check it out. It's a lot more set up than this video, like this. What? You guys can go there and check it out. It's a lot more set up than this. What's it called? Channel? Yeah, this channel. And um, I have an Instagram account where I post stuff and things like that. Um, you guys can go follow me. Um, if you can't find like the link below, I probably just put my username below. So go follow me there. You'll find a lot of stuff. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!